Well, what's the story behind Unstoppable Domains? Like, I would love to know like the origin story. You know, how did you guys decide to to build that company? Of all the things you could have built in the space, you know, why that? And what's the core problem that you solve? The idea for the company was thought up by by Matt Gould, who's our who's our CEO and founder. He and I have been friends and have worked on companies together for quite a while. He was head of product at Talkable while I was running uh, running BD and sales there. He's actually the person that also got me into crypto um, in 2013 as well. The problem that he was trying to solve, well, so in 2016, I guess this was, Ethereum was out. Uh, people were using it for things. So smart contract blockchains were real. It was clear they were a thing. They had all of this promise, you know, that you could have these, uh, you could have this decentralized web. Uh, you could have decentralized finance. You could have user controlled data. You could have all of these things using, you know, Ethereum using smart contract blockchains, but also using decentralized storage networks. And the early versions of these things existed. The problem was they were super hard to use. And so, you know, just like what happened with IP addresses on the internet, you needed to have domain names in order to ultimately make those, make the internet protocols useful and usable uh, to a large number of people. And so the starting point was, okay, these networks are hard to use. They have these crazy long hashes and things like that. How do I get to a place where users can actually use this stuff? Okay, well, if you look at the traditional internet, uh, domain names were a user experience improvement for the early internet protocols. And that the same thing was probably going to happen here. Uh, so that was the initial insight. And that you could map all of your crypto addresses to your domain, that you could map your the hash of your content sitting on a decentralized storage network to your domain. And therefore this, you know, this would create, uh, make these networks easy to use. That was the, I think the, the kernel, but as we dug in a little bit deeper, we actually you know, realized that there was something potentially even much bigger than that, which is how messed up the current internet is. And I don't think we actually fully understood that at the onset, it required going and digging into how that industry works. And I think that what we've done as users of the internet is we've just sort of taken it, taken it as it is, taken it at face value and haven't really realized, haven't really reflected on how, even though it was a wonderful thing 30 years ago when it was invented, it's not serving, serving users in the internet of today. So it was this gradual process of, oh, blockchains need to be easier to use. And then to, oh, wow, the entire internet is actually totally screwed and needs to be rebuilt. 